So as you saw at the end there, it's just started to snow. Winter is upon us, as you will see now. You'll just startle it. Who's there? Come out! Hello? We just want to talk. Any sudden moves and I put one right between your eyes. Ditto for Buddy Boy over there. What do you want? Um, name's David. This here's my friend James. We're from a larger group. Women, children. They're all very, very hungry. So am I. Women and children, all very hungry too. Well, uh, maybe we could uh, trade you for some of that meat there. What do you need? Um, weapons, ammo, clothes. Medicine. Do you have any antibiotics? We do. Back at the camp. You're welcome to follow us I'm back. not following you anywhere. Buddy boy can go get it. He comes back with what I need. The deer is all yours. Anyone else shows up... You put one right between my eyes. That's right. Two bottles of the penicillin in a syringe. Make it fast. Go on. I'll take that rifle. Of course. Back up. <sighs> He's probably gonna be a while. You, uh, mind if we take some shelter from the cold? Bring him with us. <clears throat> there. You know, you really shouldn't be out here all on your own. I don't like company. I see. What's your name? Why? Look, I understand it's not easy to trust a couple of strangers. Whoever's heard, you clearly care about them. I'm sure it's going to be just fine. We'll see. Gun? Sorry. Hey, I really like my rifle back now. No, you have your pistol. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. Obligatory infected battle. <sighs> well, you handled yourself pretty nice back there. <laughs> I'd say we make a pretty good team. We got lucky. Lucky? No, no. No such thing as luck. Now, you see, I believe that everything happens for a reason. Sure. I do. And I can prove it to you. Now, 
this winter. That's been especially cruel. A few weeks back, I uh, sent a group of men out to a nearby town to look for food. Only a few came back. He said that the others had been uh, slaughtered by a crazy man. <laughs> and get this, he's a crazy man traveling with a little girl. You see, everything happens for a reason. Uh, don't get upset. It's not your fault. Just a kid. James, lower the gun. No way, David. I'm not gonna let her lower go. Lower the gun. Now give her the medicine. The others won't be happy about this. Yeah, well, that's not your concern. Move the fuck out of the way. You won't survive long out there. I can't protect you. Oh, thanks. Get out of here. Joel? Oh. I only managed to get a little bit of food. <laughs> but I did get this. <laughs> Move your arm. I'm gonna draw them away from here. I'll come back for you.
How are you feeling? Super. Here. You should eat. I know you're hungry. You've been out for quite some time. What is it? It's deer. With some human helping on the side? No. No, I, I promise. It's just the deer meat. You're a fucking animal. It's awfully quick to judgment. Considering you and your friend killed how many men? They didn't give us a choice. And you think we have a choice? Is that it? You kill to survive. And so do we. We have to take care of our own, by any means necessary. So now what? You gonna chop me up into tiny pieces? <laughs> I'd rather not. Please tell me your name. You're so full of shit. On the contrary. I've been, uh, been quite honest with you. Now I think it's your turn. It's the only way I'm going to be able to convince the others. Convince them of what? That you can come around. You have heart. You're loyal. And you're special. Oh. What am I supposed to tell the others now? Ellie. What? Tell them that... Ellie is the little girl that broke your fucking finger! How did you put it? Hmm? Tiny pieces. See you in the morning, Ellie. Joel is awake and Joel is angry. Let's go capture someone, shall we? What the fuck? You wait here. Now, the girl. Is she alive? What girl? I don't know no girl. <laughs> Fuck! Focus right here, right here. And I'll pop your uh, goddamn knee off. The girl. Uh, she's alive. She's David's newest pet. Where? Uh, uh, in the town. In the town. Uh, um, um. But you're gonna mark it on the map. And it better be the same exact spot your buddy points to. Mark it. It's right there. You can verify it. Go ask him. Go on. I tell you, I ain't alive. I ain't. <laughs> Fuck you, man. 
I told you what you wanted. I ain't told you shit. That's all right. I believe him. No, wait! Wakey, wakey. Come on. Let's go! Stop! I warned you. I'm infected! I'm infected! Really? So are you. Right there. Roll up my sleeve. Look at it! I'll play along. <laughs> What'd you say? Everything happens for a reason, right? What the hell is that? She would have turned by now. It can't be real. Looks pretty fucking real to me. Okay, once again we're playing as um, as Ellie at this point, and this part is significantly lacking in the pre-rendered cutscene area. It's beautiful and rendered amazingly in the game, but it's just not a cutscene. You can see the buildings on fire there, the restaurant. David hunts Ellie down, traps her in this restaurant, sets it on fire. Ellie kills him, while Joel, there you go, Joel tries to catch up with her. He sees the building on fire, goes in and rescues her while she's caving David's head in with his machete. Um, he comforts her in a way that's actually human. So Brownie points to him.